Yes. Mm -hmm. So if I hit that structure, you can... Yep. The large mirror for the European Extremely Large Telescope, the EELT, is to be made up of hexagonal plates. The first prototypes for the mounting brackets are already being built in Munich, and different types of glass ceramics are being developed for the mirror parts. The researchers then have to assemble more than 800 of these in the coming years. Every one of these segments is mounted individually and can be controlled as a single unit. The big challenge is linking all the parts together to give the main mirror the right shape to allow the telescope to work and produce sharp images. The EELT will look like this when it's finished. The main mirror will be almost 40 meters in diameter, about the size of an average swimming pool. That will allow it to gather far more light than the best observatories in operation today. And it will produce images 15 times sharper than the Hubble Space Telescope. The new astronomical eye will also be fitted with cameras and spectrographs to take a look at some other interesting space phenomena, black holes. They take enormous masses of matter and compress them into a single point. At the edge of black holes, space and time cease to exist. That's unimaginable. Anything that gets too close to a black hole disappears forever. Even light cannot escape its enormous gravitational force. Astronomers also want to use the telescope to investigate the center of our home galaxy, the Milky Way. That's the site of an enormous black hole four million times heavier than the sun. The enormous mass forces nearby stars into narrow orbital paths. The researchers want to use the black hole as a lab and carry out detailed probes. The phenomena that Einstein described in the theory of relativity can then be compared with what exists in nature. One issue to be probed is how stars and their orbital paths behave when subjected to enormous gravity fields. The telescope will allow researchers to test basic theories of the cosmos. Astronomers have discovered that black holes can tear gas clouds apart. They want to use the telescope to follow events like these as closely as possible to see how matter behaves in the vicinity of what is known as a gravitational trap. The new telescope will also provide insight into how enormous black holes influence the development of galaxies. It's a key question for astronomers. The enormous mirrors for the telescope will have to be polished precisely to an accuracy greater than a millionth of a millimeter. Even a tiny bit of dust in the coating of the segments could ruin an image. Visible light, optical light, has a wavelength of approximately 500 nanometers. The flaws in the mirrors must be less than this wavelength for the images to remain sharp and undistorted. The super telescope is expected to begin operating in the coming decade. Then, for the next 30 years at least, it's expected to provide images that will help unlock the secrets of the universe.